The world of Among Us as we know it is always full of mystery, with many creatures roaming around, ready to strike at any moment. But there are creatures in Among Us without an explanation. Creatures that you can't even see. And I'm talking about No Visor, one of the most powerful creatures in the game. A creature that can be watching you at any moment without you even realizing. And he will make you one of them. But with every bad, there is a good. And No Visor has a brother, also known as Yes Visor. His brother is a regular crewmate, like the rest of us. And he doesn't agree with his brother's actions, which is why he named himself Yes Visor, to show that not everyone has to join No Visor's side, which is filled with evil. And before we get any further into this video, if you want to see more content like this, let's try to get this video to 30,000 likes. And if you're new to the channel and enjoy my content, make sure that you hit that subscribe button with the bell icon turned on. You are always welcome to be part of the Chari family. But now, let's begin with the story of Yes Visor, No Visor's brother. So I was just looking for a lobby to join, and there were several lobbies with 15 players. So I just chose this random one. And when I joined the lobby, there was a player by the name of Yes Visor. At first, I thought it was some player making fun of No Visor, because No Visor and Yes Visor, you get the point. But the difference between No Visor and Yes Visor is that No Visor is black while Yes Visor is white, the opposite of one another. Yes Visor was then sending Yes Visor over and over in the chat, just like No Visor. I did find this very strange, but since several players were joining the lobby, I decided to stay anyways. I was the crewmate this match, and I chose to spawn inside of the brig, and it had several tasks to do. And then I saw Yes Visor coming out of the main hall. And he began to follow me, up until we entered armory and the door closed, right in front of both of us. Yes Visor was chasing me through the kitchen and into security. As Yes Visor was chasing me through electrical, I could see floating ghosts everywhere. They were pretty close to me, but they weren't doing anything. And they all didn't have a visor. Brown's body was then reported. And I told Yes Visor, why are you following me? And he responded with, Yes Visor. I didn't want to ask the crewmates if we could eject him because I didn't have enough proof, so we ended up skipping. I also didn't want to tell the crewmates about the ghost. They would think I'm crazy. I then entered the vault to do my two tasks, and I didn't see Yes Visor up until he entered the front door. I quickly left the vault and got on top of the platform, since it can only fit one player, and this would give me the opportunity to finish a task. After I got done, I entered the main hall, and that is when I saw a bunch of ghosts around me. They all didn't have a visor, but then one of them stood out. It was No Visor's ghost. All of the ghosts then disappeared, and I wanted to hide from all of this, because I had a feeling that something bad was about to happen. So I went into the lounge, and I was hiding. It was now dead silent. No crewmates. No ghost. It was just me alone in this room. I could then see the doors opening one by one. Until eventually my door was opened. And it was Yes Visor. I left the lounge immediately. Trying to run away from Yes Visor. I ran towards the meeting room. But before I could make it there a sabotage was called. Luckily there was crewmates around me. So they could protect me from Yes Visor. But I couldn't stand this any longer I called a meeting. And I told them that Yes Visor was chasing me, but nobody voted for him. All the votes were tied. When we were back in the game, the only thing that I could hope for is to live a minute longer. I tried to escape, but he was just right behind me. He didn't leave me alone. I could also see No Visor's ghost out in the distance, looking at both of us. But the main problem was Yes Visor. I couldn't focus on no visor. A body was then reported and Banana was questioning why I was chasing him. And I told him that I need help from Yes Visor. Cyan was then ejected when he wasn't the imposter. But the imposter can't be Yes Visor. He's been chasing me the entire time. I then decided to check vitals. And that is when I found out my answer. Purple ended up dying. And Yes Visor was with me. So the imposter had to be Banana. I tried searching every corner of the airship map, trying to find the dead body, and it made it even more stressful with the sabotage. It felt like I was in a horror movie. I then took a quick second to check the map, 
and the body was in the viewing deck. So I made my way over there, but that is when Banana appeared and killed me. I left that lobby and I entered another one, but it was worse. Yes, Pfizer and no Pfizer were in the lobby together. The moment I entered, I then opened the chat and both of them were arguing. One of them said no Pfizer and the other one said yes Pfizer. And they kept going up until we entered the game. I'm surprised no one banned them. When I spawned in, yes Pfizer was already there and he seemed to be teleporting. I'm unsure on how he was doing that, but he managed to freeze my game, and I could just see ghosts everywhere. And then Novisor entered the room, and the door was closed. I tried to escape these two players, but both of them followed me. Every door was closed. So the moment I had a little bit of hope, it would all go to waste with the doors. I somehow managed to escape after I went around the airship map. Which took a few minutes, and the place that I was hiding at was Cargo Bay. The lights to the airship map then turned off, and when they all turned on, Yes Visor and No Visor were both there, waiting for me. A body was then reported, and his name was Visor, which I found quite strange. I'm surprised he wasn't chasing me. When I got back into the game, I found No Visor in the main hall, and he was looking for someone. It wasn't me, it was Yes Visor. He then killed Yes Visor right in front of me. I thought you two were friends. So I left the main hall, but the lights were off. So I tried to turn him on to call a meeting, but No Visor was inching closer and closer up until he killed me. But why did he go after his brother? I left the airship completely, and I went over to Scaled, hoping that no one was there, but no Visor was already in the lobby. Yes, Visor then later joined, and when we got into the game, this time I was the imposter. I tried to act like a crewmate, but it was very hard knowing that no Visor and Yes, Visor were here, but then I found no Visor and Yes, Visor staring at each other in communications. I left communications for a few seconds, and when I came back they were running around. I then decided to eliminate No Visor after the last game, and Yes Visor began to chase me down. I couldn't tell if he was angry or if he was relieved, but regardless I led him over to communications. And I killed Yes Visor. Yes Visor and No Visor were now together, and I left the area as soon as I could. The lobby was now covered in darkness. The only thing I could see was my name, and when the lights were back on, I could see everyone. A bright light covered my entire screen. Everything was white, even space was white. I could then see Yes Visor as a ghost, and my screen was completely frozen, but then the light went away, and it was back to darkness. I could then see No Visor's ghost going towards me. Dark and light fight for the control. And that was the last that I've seen of No Visor and his brother. But they will most likely be back. If you did enjoy and want to see more story videos, make sure to leave a like down below. I do also want to give a massive shout out to Kitty King for helping me produce this video. If you want to support a smaller creator, make sure to go check out his channel and subscribe to him. And if you're new to the channel and want to see more Among Us story videos, make sure that you hit that subscribe button with the bell icon turned on. And check out these other Among Us story videos that are found on my channel.